Hello, 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 hello. Oh, wait, is this... I'm recording. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I am recording. I didn't even have the window pulled up. What a doof. What a doof. What are you doing? Well, bye. Get this one out of here before the other one shows up. There we go. Having one's okay, having two's too much. That's uh, a little too soon for ammo to be showing up, if you know what I'm showing. Uh, this is the same day as the uh, the other one. I got a haircut. Uh, I talked to my wife about it. She gave me a haircut, and it looks freaking good. It looks smooth like spaghetti is. It's a... Uh, I'm impressed that she's like... I mean, I'm like... like she's getting better at it. She... Uh, she wasn't bad to begin with, but she's like improving at a rapid clip. And I think it's it's looking more and more professionally done after each haircut these days. Um, I haven't been keeping up with it as much because, like honestly, who cares? It's, <laughs> it's like, you know, there's some people out there, there's some uh, actors and celebrities and stuff who are making a big deal about uh, not wearing makeup during lockdown. And um, I think they were expecting uh, praise for that. I think they were expecting to be treated as like some sort of like strong, resilient people in the face of the adversity of being locked down in their mansions. They uh, are also suffering the indignity of not putting makeup on their face. And I don't, I don't care. I don't care about like the way celebrities feel <laughs> in the face of adversity or whatever because like there is there are very few of them that are oh my god this is uh that are suffering as much as the most like than uh, not even suffering nearly the same amount as the average person and honestly like it's <sighs> It's weird that they f need to feel some sort of heroism for their their actions. I think that like one of the strange things about celebrity in general, about fame, is uh, I, I guess the sense that it seems that the people who are famous tend to think, oh my god, tend to think that them going through this the same stuff that average people go through is somehow more interesting because it's happening to them. What is going on with my shot direction? That was very weird. Uh, I mean, I guess they're used to they're used to being told that everything that happens to them is more fascinating than the same thing happening to others, but it's kind of funny when the, there aren't the uh, agents and the kiss asses and the Hollywood people kind of like reminding them of their inherent value and it's just put in the in the hands of the, the uh, populace <laughs> there are these kind of like blowback moments that I think they weren't expecting I'm sure plenty of people were still like wow they're such heroes they didn't they uh they didn't put makeup on they just <laughs> stayed in their their many pooled homes man can I get keys um I don't know it's weird to me because, like, I don't even like talking about how little celebrities matter because then it's like it's like still giving them too much attention in all of this. Uh, okay, a key is good. A key is grand. What are you doing over there, Nate? Just browsing Reddit. Hmm. Anything interesting? Not really. Anything <laughs> uh, that way. This run's looking like, like completely, completely average to start. We had to open one of the two chests. The, uh, the gun that I got I think is pretty good. 
that gun that I just got is not good, but it's a good uh, it's a good one to burn through. It's weird how much like I don't know. I don't. I wonder if the average player of this game goes to the oubliette every time. It's like there there's so much that I like so many chests that I throw away. So many runs that like start off feeling negative because I I don't get a third key. Which I guess isn't probably not a sentiment everybody that plays the game shares. It's weird to think about like <clears throat> just how differently I I interact with this game than when I first started. And like I thought with Exit the Gungeon I would get there too. I get to the point where I'm approaching the the first floor with a very specific goal in mind. I haven't, <clears throat> God damn it, I haven't gotten there yet, mostly because I uh, haven't played it in a while. But um, I do like that about roguelites in general. This the sense that like the thing you're looking at changes. There's a certain amount of like. Uh, not mastery, but like a, a growing understanding of what you're doing in a game that accompanies with it, accompanies the game in general. Um, I would say probably more so than the average game because uh, with the average game, there's kind of a, a at least story driven games, things like that, linear games. Uh, there's a stopping point after which you don't really have to. Dang, that sucks. You don't have to think about it anymore. These, especially if you're, I mean, what's the what's the point of playing a roguelite, right? It's not usually just to finish the story elements because most of them are pretty threadbare stories in the first place. Or even if the story is well developed, it's not it's not the main drive. I almost walked into that freaking thing. It's not the main. Uh, motivator. It's the gameplay. I don't know if there I can think of any example of a game of a roguelite that's more about the uh, the story than the gameplay. Even like the, the card playing one or the deck building ones, those still feel like they're more about the The mechanics, whatever those mechanics include. That's definitely a mimic. That's awesome. Uh, we still need a gun force. We're not even close to considering. Wow. Uh, sending down anything that isn't a gun. Yo, that turtle just warped through the wall. Turtle? Tiger. I really, the only thing that I wish were different about the freaking bait launcher is that if I, if I hit a particular enemy with the bait, that is the enemy that will get wiped out. Other than that, it's fine. I wish it, I mean, it could pick randomly if no one was hit, but, uh... It makes it hard to use as a room clearer when you're not sure who's going to uh, be wiped out. And then you have those situations where the same one gets it twice. Mm -hmm. Today I made fun of Jackie for uh, always feeling the need to like change up the the setting about something with the house. She's constantly like reorganizing a room, moving the furniture around, changing paintings on the wall, things like that. 
And uh, she's like, no, I don't do that. I don't, I don't do that. And then today she decided that she's going to move her uh, her workspace for her painting downstairs. And she's been, like, hammering <laughs> things into the wall for the last, like, three hours or so. Um, so you're probably going to hear some of that noise. All right. The left one is a mimic. I wonder what the pathing is like. Like, I... It looked like... I mean, not the pathing. Like, why a certain target is picked. For all this. It's driving me fucking crazy. Like, is there a certain wall that they're... A certain direction they're most likely to come from? And then they pick the closest one to that initial spawn point. I can't... There's, there's no consistency to it. All the ammo in the world. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Can't believe I got hit. It's so weird that when the enemy has already died, sometimes the freaking thing will attack the empty space. Everybody knows what the uh, the best case scenario is for using the uh, bait launcher. It's scatter shot. Double vision is fine, not as all around useful. But man, anything where the uh, the damage doesn't really come from the shy, like a multiplier, like even helix bullets. Helix bullets are a little weird because uh, I think the way they work uh, it, like screws up the tigers. I don't know. Like the tiger just sometimes can't hit the target. Ow. Stop. Get him. Get the little one. Good. Dude. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck with these guns? He's good. Item is also good. This gun is fine. We'll actually use it here. This gun is fine as well. Cool. We got a couple of fine ass guns. And we will buy this key. The cheap. Then we will scoot. Man, I'm glad I didn't buy the escape rope. I'm going to use these two to start. Eee, rough start. I know that this gun is not... Neither of these are like the safest thing to be using here, but... I think they'll work well. One for distance, one for uh, damage. Always close that early loop if you can. Oh, 
Ah, Jesus Christ, that was close. I did not use that very effectively. I feel myself just like holding my breath with this stupid thing. Man, no, no teleports. I, I don't know why I feel so always nervous when I'm using the freaking... Or when I'm holding the old crest. How far did you end up getting in Resident Evil? here but I don't know I guess I also don't want to necessarily use like stuff that I'll still be comfortable using on the next floor all right the keys that are falling are pretty pretty good so there's no, uh, there's a very, very low chance that it's going to move in this direction. would be my guess. Ooh. Okay, get a little closer than I should have. It's a good dodge though. Shouldn't let it have to be like that close of a dodge though. I, I, I'm almost certain it's going to be on the other side of this treasure room. Surprising them. Hmm. God damn it. to use this shittier weapon on this thing. It's a real, a real bummer. Oh my god, the microphone's on the way. Jesus Christ. Whew. I don't know why I pulled back like that. Huh. Okay, railgun's good, even if it's a prototype. I don't know what I would duct tape though right now. Hmm. Tiger and banana could be cool. 
slinging banana could be cool. Jesus Christ. I think we should get both of these. We definitely don't need another key. Wow. Okay, so let's go sling and banana. Or sling and prototype railgun. Because I'm not going to use... Yeah, those are only boss. Those are boss only. They're both charged. Yeah, okay, that's the one. I'll do that. We have seven hearts already. We made it to the fight. We're not, I mean, we're poison proof now. We don't actually have a poison weapon though. Uh, we got three keys. I think we're good. I don't think there was anything we could do even if we weren't good. God, the knockback there. Ridiculous. I, I don't like these being the two weapons that I have, but I don't really know what else to use right now. realize I never ever have fought in that center section. Not once in the entire time I've played this game. Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll use these two for now. I'm tired of the tigers. One of the things that was, so I'm, I'm doing this video pretty soon after the last one. I realized that nothing new has uh, really come up in terms of things to talk about. We, uh, I got my hair cut, and while we were doing that, we were watching uh, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, which, I, John Oliver is somebody that I think, I don't know, I, I, I have respect for. He's a... Uh, he was great on The Daily Show. Uh, he's always been just like a very uh, pleasant, like consistently pleasant and uh, and funny comedian. I um, it's weird that he he like kind of got out of the <laughs> like pseudo news news comedy thing for a while and then came back in it with his own thing um he was doing like he was on community for a while he was doing a lot of like comedy tv i guess i don't i don't think he was doing much uh i don't know if he was in many movies until he was in like ooh, robots left hand it's pretty good and i think he was like in the lion king remake as uh, Iago, no, 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 Iago was Aladdin. What was the bird in The Lion King named? Zazu? I think it was Zazu. It was like a Mustafa's vizier. I don't know. I haven't watched the new one. I, I don't plan on it. 
people have basically said it's just the Lion King. You know, they didn't... There, It's not like... Aladdin, which... Man, Aladdin really rested on the performance from uh, Robin Williams. I don't even know why they would make a live act and action version without Robin Williams, you know? Like, I feel like that movie, maybe maybe it's just me, maybe that's just my opinion, um, but it, it feels to me like that movie doesn't exist without Robin Williams, and, you know, Disney's gonna make its money, but, like, it really feels kind of silly to me, oh god. Was this fucking name Zazu? I really I can't remember. That was dumb. I don't know if this is a great amount of damage, but I don't really also think I have too much else to put in its stead right now. It's definitely better damage than either of the two of them would be doing on their own. Whoa. Uh -huh. There we go. That's another freaking F okay. Uh, that's a mimic. easy to drop <laughs> the freaking what's it called potion of friendship juice or something gun friendship Dude, the banana is one of the best like upgrades between this game and enter the gungeon or exit the gungeon I feel like the banana in exit the gungeon is actually one of the few instances where it makes it harder to use the original like there's so many like the Vulcan cannon in exit the gungeon it is garbage like you don't even want it the the Fire rate is slower, for for what reason I do, I just don't know. The uh, damage is less per shot, at least it feels like, and it's just like it's like a an all around like unimprovement, deprovement. What the fuck does that synergize with? Blast crowned, crowned. Whoops. What's the synergy? A chance to fire explosives. That could be fun. This gun is uh, perfectly all right for room clearing. We got a bunch of a bunch of room starters. We got a decent amount of room clears. <coughs> I love to hand it's so fucking expensive, dude. Little bomber. Uh, I'll get another room starter. Man, I guess we'll do this. Ugh. 
I was hoping for a little bomber. Something else that just like opens her up. Man, my nose is so dry right now. Sucks. Uh, probably just give it to our boss weapons, right? Let me use this for a little bit. The passive reload on this is just so fucking terrible. See, when I'm not holding the uh, the old crest, I don't even think about those guys. Even the ones that can like zap me, like even the ones that very easily could dish out substantial damage, I don't even think about them. No, it is. It's not a mimic. Absolutely. Ooh. We are poison proof, so we do not need to worry about that guy. God damn it. This is just a. T oh no, it's not just a turn. Okay. Oh, boy. We're going to use double vision a lot more often than we normally do. It's like, I, I'm getting tired of being wasteful with active items in this game. It's a bad habit that I need to cut right on out. I wonder if they specifically made the, uh, the reload specifically like longer than it takes for enemies to spawn. Like I think I think there's a, a lot of design choice in this game to really encourage you to uh to switch often. I mean you don't make a game with like nine thousand guns in it and then expect everyone to use the same gun. Oh god. Or yeah, expect people to stick to one gun that's working exclusively. I mean, but then you have things that totally incentivize exactly that, like uh, the metronome. That's, I think that's actually it. God, I got the metronome on the last run, and it became very, very insignificant to my run. My strategy. It's good, we can make some money. So we're gonna actually put a little bit more into, whoa, they came out of the walls. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit more thought into just burning through this one because we're going to sell it. It's going to slow things down for a little bit, but... Hmm, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary to see that coming straight back towards me. Even though I knew it was benign. I 
I wonder how, like, there's a lot of people in uh, internet media right now, like, working for websites or whatever, that are, uh, their jobs, for the most part, I don't think are, like, the work they do is not uh, different. You know, most of them can probably work from home because it's all going up on a website anyway. Um, they can just upload it or email it to their editors for them to upload it or however that shit works. But what they don't need is to be, like, in a physical office in order to get the writing of the, uh, the pages done. Um, but I wonder how different it feels to just, to just only do it from home. You know, I wonder if it actually impacts their their ability to put stories together or something. I was thinking about, like, I know that um, Kotaku is still running and stuff like that, but it's like... What's up, baby? What's up? Are you going to bed? No. Good. Just do. It's good. I shouldn't click. What do you mean? Outside that bottom door. Oh, okay. You just walk out that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I might try and make it like a cute little personal. Bring the pants out there if you want kind of situation. Okay. Another one? Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. The one that's already outside. Uh-huh. Gotcha. That's cool. That's a I think that's a good idea. I think that'll be cute. You put them or you are going I thought you just ordered some. They look like Thomas Edison's? They all look like a bunch of Thomas Edison's? That's good. Is he fat? He always wore the same thing? Did did Tom did Thomas Edison and his friends all only wear the same thing? I think so. They were like cartoon characters. They have one outfit. Yeah. I think I'm gonna sell the freaking remote control bullets. Ha, <laughs> you thought you can get a side kiss, but instead you got a malfer. Ugh, real malfer. <laughs> oh, shell shocked. The reason I was thinking about... Oh, man. It's so great to see that as a single. Single damn shot. But... Okay, we're going to keep the RC bullets and try something on the next boss. Let's get this the fuck out of here. Um, is because... Saturday Night Live did that that uh at home episode we watched that earlier and in the middle of it there was a teenage mutant ninja turtles middle-aged mutant ninja turtles animation they always do their animations but the uh, oh i kept the rpg whatever we can we can sell it very soon um and uh i saw that animation reference both on ign and Kotaku like and it felt like like it wasn't I mean I guess they're kind of nerd culture so that's the connection um but it felt like I, I don't know the fact that I saw both of them on there like felt kind of weird oh this is strange it doesn't boom because of remote control bullets right um 
and it like it felt kind of like a slow news day kind of thing, but you know everything's kind of a slow news day kind of thing unless you're in coronavirus news, then it's probably always a very very fast news day right now. But like I don't know, like I wonder if that would even have popped up if people would have written about that or if there was just so much other stuff going on. Like, so Jason um, Scryer, I believe his name is, um, is kind of the big investigative journalist for Kotaku. He is really good at finding, um, getting information about uh, unfair labor issues in the, uh, the developer developer publisher side of things, the game creation side of things, and, uh, you know, his stories are pretty in-depth most of the time, uh, there's really, really good r reporting from him, um, god damn, I cannot kill these guys, um, and they have a lot more, like, uh, kind of, ah, uh, damn it, like, fluffy, or, right, not fluffier, they write more fluff pieces. Wow, like I just dove. Um, they write filler stuff because, you know, these websites need a certain amount of filler because it's not really just news that they're trying to trying to give. It's they're trying to gain clicks. They need that ad revenue. They work for a business. And that business is one that makes its money off of people looking at particular advertisement. And that's fine. This is, this is not to discuss the, like, I don't know, the, the pros and cons of new journalism or anything like that. But it's weird to me that, like, both of those websites had a story about a, an animated short on a... TV show, and it was, I don't know if it, like, had a lot of views or whatever, but it, it felt like it was featured kind of prominently because there's nothing else going on, I'm guessing, is the main reason. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, that was scary. I have a fucking menorah of uh, <laughs> bullets coming out, and I'm gonna fill that up. That was that was awesome. Is this the Yeti? I don't know if that's the Yeti. We're getting rid of this one. And we'll use this and... Uh, so we only have one curse, but at least we have one curse. Um, I don't want to get rid of that gun specifically because it is where we get our curse from. Oh, there's like just enough not lag to keep him out of there. That boss fight was fun. Please. Man, 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 man. Okay. When I have three keys and I see one of those guys, I get very excited. But you know, it can't it can't be every time. I get that. I should probably get rid of it terrible shotgun. It really is like... It's, it's somehow worse with RC bullets, but I, I'm keeping RC bullets this round. I don't often, uh, because I think they're, they're an item that's practically just designed for mouse and keyboard users. Um, ooh, that was <laughs> stupidly risky. But they're not bad. They're not like 
all the time guaranteed bad for controller users. There we go. Don't have to worry about him at all. Secret in this fucking floor. Is this zombie little little guys? Yeah. Oh shit. Guys die slowly. Uh, okay, so we're going into the next floor with no keys. I don't fucking have anything worth a goddamn. Yikes. Let's go straight. Straighten the old wood chipper here. This one is also going. Then we're gonna go figure out what this is. We don't need two hundred and twenty one casings, but we got them, so. That's pretty, pretty bad. We'll keep it and use it real quick, though. We'll keep it and use it real quick. God, this looks so good. God, she's getting just amazing at it. Hmm. So actually... I think Joe Tutan, Joe Toon time might just freeze when I reload. Yeah. It's not the Yeti one. That's that sucks. Might not be usable, it might be too hard to, uh, to focus on because it moves so slowly. Oh, come on. At some point it just like stopped aiming. Rapidly freezes, huh? Yeah, it totally does. You have to get way, like, up in there, though. Come on. Come on, dude. Get out of here. Thank you. That key is very, very much appreciated. That's why I don't care for it, because you already have to be close to freeze. It doesn't give you anything new, it just improves what you already have. We, we will get the uh, the thing if we end up 
having another shop where stealing might be useful. Hmm. Push the table and then walked to the other side of the table. Frost Giant can really pump out some fucking numbers. If the situation allows it. It's almost out of ammo though. That's that's the other part. There you go. Give you a little wrap around. Uh sure. Still got still got crappers to spray through. Hmm, that. Uh, I have guns that I can get rid of, that I can use the ammo of. I don't know where the phrase crappers to spray through came from. But, but I like it, and I'm going to use it all the time now. Another key is dope. Especially since we got another. Yikes, it seems like it's moving so slowly. Yeah. There we go. As long as I hit one. <laughs> kind of forgetting that I. We'll fire other bullets. There we go. Why why the hell are these bullets moving so slow? Like their travel speed. It's just garbage. Wow. And then you boss, huh? That's fine. Let's just use this. And this. Why didn't I charge it? I'm shocked. I didn't think it would do it that quickly. <laughs> well. I mean, I thought it was... Whew, that's way faster than I thought it was going to be. Right before the boss, huh? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I was I was thinking for a moment trying to freeze him, but what's the fucking point? I don't like this cover-based gameplay that's going on right now. It is so hard to take down one enemy with this because it goes on to the freaking you can't like hit your target the bullets are going so slowly you're aiming across the screen by the time the fucking thing goes off All right, there's our treasure or our, our secret room only do that okay so there's no other shop huh I mean I guess Oh, yikes. Well, that'll turn into something else. Damn it. 
Mm, we're at 221 before we hit this floor. We didn't even go into that at all. What is it? I, I'd much rather have a blank. Poison blank is fine as well. It's a gun. It's a shitty gun. Shoot. 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 We have like a once in a lifetime opportunity that we might have just fucking ruined. Not once in a lifetime, but... It's like not a very common opportunity to turn that into an S rank item. And I screwed it up. This is an S rank, right? No, that's probably green. It's green. Well. Well. If I could have still dropped the fucking thing there. Oh well. so hard to look at. Let's get this over with, please. While I still have... Okay. <laughs> I still have a blank. I feel like I have to figure out a way. That was almost a bad first fucking jump. What is up with me in that first jump? I feel like I uh, have to find a way to drop the rat ring and get a new rat ring from it. Or not get a new rat ring, but uh... Turn the rat ring into something else. Okay, it was south of this one, right? Mmm. Very much worth it. It's more fun. We'll drop the green miles on the next floor. Could have done that in the other order. Who cares? What, what do I need? 96 casings for. What do I need one more curse for? The rat won't pick that one up. I wish it could be black and white like this forever. Aw. Oh. Dodge roll ends it. Do 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 do. I don't think there's anything else I would prefer to drop. I mean, I guess I could wait. But what if it's something good? It's a stinger. That's not bad with a little double vis. It's not a bad room starter. Dude, that's... That's the fucking worst. That's a good way to make me look like a damn fool. Bees go straight for the fucking... Wall. Or the uh, flesh cube. Uh, table sec tech site. That's gonna be triple shot when I flip a table. So infrequently, but it'll be awesome when it does. Oh, shit. I know why this singer sucks.
I think my bee. No, the bees are not RCs. I don't have any control over the bees, so. They're just flying like shit on their own. On their lonesome. God, that. Oh, shit. The shot. This thing covers so much of the freaking visible bullet trajectory in front of you. We should stop more or less screwing around. She's a good one. Got heart pieces on the floor, so. Whoa! You know what? There's no bulbats that are just born bulbats on this floor, right? There are no waves where the uh, they come out as bulbats. Damn! Thought for sure it would have been ready already. Do, 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 do. Wow, we went the right way. That's the craziest, most insane thing that's ever happened in anybody's life, not just mine. This is more, more insane than uh, Hindenburg. Whoa. Let's go get our heart because it doesn't need to just sit sit there. He didn't turn it into anything. Or he did and then I didn't pick it up in time. That's fucking weird. I did, I mean, I totally forgot about it, but still weird. better or worse. It's probably worse with the uh, RC bullets because there's no aim assist whatsoever. But I can curve it and make it still hit, so who knows, man. I have like a song by Metric stuck in my head that I've been listening to. I don't know anything about Metric, um, or the band or the system, but I wish this one song would either like be more understood by me, or I could just like fucking get it out. Oh boy, that was bad. Hmm. 
Yeah. I didn't feel that one going too slow. And I kind of was like glued in place like a fucking idiot. We don't need the LF this time. For some reason. I guess it's just like, why spoil the cake because the milk is bad? You know? You know. What? Well. There. Boop. 352. Continuing always upward. I don't know why I couldn't freaking pull the trigger there. Ooh. I need to take these little hairlets out into the out to the backyard and shoot them. The solo F L K F O K L G not BAD at all. Um, it's not great. <laughs> There's some sloppy action on the uh, thing. The rat thing. I made some rat mistakes, but 